Hi guys, it's Rafael here from You Moving Abroad and this week's blog is about clothing and what clothes to wear um, and to pack before you move to another country. So my tip here to start talking about clothing is actually to find out which season is in the country where you're going. Because if you are moving from a cold country or a hot country to a completely opposite country that, you know, if you're going from hot to cold or cold to hot, obviously there are clothes that you don't need to pack when you're going. So if you are in Iceland, for example, and you are in there in December and you are moving to Brazil, so Iceland in December is very cold because it's winter and Brazil in January is high summer. So obviously you don't need fur or you don't need your heavy coat or anything like that if you're moving from Iceland to Brazil. And the same applies if you are going from Peru and is in June, which is slightly colder, going to Europe, which is summer. So my tip here is the clothing that you're going to pack, you know, the, the set of clothes that you need will re be completely um, related to the season where, of the country where you're going. And also make sure that you know if the season is at the beginning, in the middle or at the end. Because if you are moving in, at the end of summer, for example, in Europe, and it goes to autumn or fall, as they say in the US, straight away, Obviously, you don't need only shorts and t-shirts. You're going to need trousers and you're going to need some sort of long sleeve to protect you from the little cold and the breeze that you have here in the evening. And the same applies, you know, from, from any country to any country, really. So you have to investigate what season is in the country where you're going and how long that season is going to last and what is the next season. So make sure that you pack clothes that are related to the season, you know, either summer or uh, spring and the season coming along. Normally as well, what I suggest is if you're not going to stay in the country for very long, so let's say you're moving for six months because you're doing a course, okay? And if you are going to, uh, for, from Argentina, for example, to Europe and in Argentina normally it's warmer, uh, even though it can get quite cold, than Europe, you may not have heavy coats that you need in Europe. So what I suggest is that you can buy in, in charity shops or second-hand clothes shops because you're not going to need that coat when you go back. Um, I have Australian friends, for example, that in Australia obviously is much warmer than Europe. And when they come here, they do that. Some people come here only for a year. You don't need to spend lots and lots of money in new clothes, especially if you're not going to wear in the country where you will um, be going back. So for Australians coming to Europe, um, they wear really heavy coats here because winter is very cold and all that. But obviously you go back to Australia, um, only in some parts of Australia get cold, but most of the time it's warm, you know, it's, it's above uh, 20 degrees. So you don't need a fur um, or a very heavy coat, that, uh, um, so it's going to be useless in your wardrobe. So what I suggest is buy second, second hand. It's very, very common in Europe, anywhere in Europe to do that. It's not very common in uh, countries like Brazil or Argentina or Colombia, but I think it's obviously is related to the economy. You know, in developing countries, people keep their clothes for much longer. You know, they don't change. And because the seasons don't change either, so people don't change wardrobes um, as much as they change in Europe. Like in Europe, we have four seasons, so you do need heavy coats and lighter coats and a t-shirt. Um, Brazil and South America in general, I would say, is all about, um, it's almost like a constant temperature of around 20 degrees. So it gets hotter in summer and gets a little bit less in winter, but there is an average there. Okay, so I hope I have helped you uh, with your packing and with your clothes and I wish you a great trip.